Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap. Philippine National Police Chief Ronald De La Rosa warns drug lords he plans to form a stronger version of Colombia's search block. <laughs> The search block is a special Colombian police force that targeted wanted and dangerous groups and personalities wanted by the law. Search block went after the Medellin drug cartel and its leader, Pablo Escobar, at the height of Colombia's war on drugs in the 90s. De La Rosa visited Colombia last week to study its version of its war on drugs. Aside from a search block, De La Rosa also favors the revival of the Philippine Constabulary. The PC began as a police force under the American colonial government and was eventually placed under the military. It was the PC that implemented martial law in 1971. In 1991, the PC and the Integrated National Police were dissolved, leading to the creation of the civilian PNP. De La Rosa says, quote, the local police, they're controlled by the local chief executives. Now the federal police, the PC, they can countercheck any anomalies at the local level. He adds, quote, it will have checks and balances because the PC, the federal police, are directly under the president, so it's not controlled by the politicians. <laughs> President Rodrigo Duterte will be ready to discuss the West Philippine Sea or the South China Sea dispute in his upcoming visit to Vietnam. Duterte will go on an official visit to Vietnam from Wednesday to Thursday, September 28 to 29. Vietnam also claims parts of the disputed sea. Foreign Affairs spokesman Charles Jose says, quote, The president will be prepared to discuss the South China Sea issue in the context of reaffirming our commitment to peaceful settlement of disputes. Still on Philippine foreign policy, Senator Bamakino asks the Senate to probe Duterte's foreign policy because of conflicting statements from the executive branch. Aquino says, quote, There's a need to clarify the government's position and engagement with its neighbors and allies and to ensure the Filipino public that we are pursuing a clear and coherent foreign policy that is most beneficial to the country. <laughs> Senator Lila de Lima calls on President Rodrigo Duterte to stop harassing her. Naawa na po ako sa ating Pangulo. Kaya patawarin na lang po siya ng mahal na Diyos. Sa mga kanyang mga pinaggagawa, all of a sudden, he's now, for me, he's now the lowest and the vilest man in the country. Sa sobrang kapastusan na po niya. That's why, God forgive him. Naaawa na po ako sa inyo, mahal na Pangulo. Tigilan niyo na po ako. Ano, niyo pong gusto, ano pong gusto niyo sa akin? May gusto po ba kayo sa akin? On Monday, Duterte said he expects De Lima to be jailed for her alleged drug links. He said he wants to ask De Lima about her alleged sex video, which the president first brought to public attention. The president also doubts De Lima's defense that inmate J.B. Sebastian is a government asset. He asks, is Sebastian a source of information or a sexual asset? De Lima earlier denied allegations Sebastian was favored because he was her bagman. The former Justice Secretary said she was told Sebastian was a government asset. Still on President Duterte, Senator Antonio Trillanes calls the president a mass murderer for allegedly being directly involved in thousands of killings by the Davao Death Squad. Now that we have seen the different corroborating evidence on the testimony of Mr. Edgar Matobato, we are faced with a very frightening prospect that of having a mass murderer as president of the country. Trillanes, in his privilege speech Monday, September 26, defends self-confessed hitman Edgar Matobato, who accused Duterte of ordering killings when he was Davao city mayor. <laughs> The Philippines has 12 Zika virus cases. The Department of Health on Monday says there are three new cases in Iloilo. Health Secretary Pauline Ubial also confirms a patient in Cebu is pregnant. Ubial says, quote, The 22-year-old confirmed case from Cebu is also 19 weeks pregnant with her first child. So this is our first pregnant case in the country. Initial examination through ultrasound revealed no detectable fetal abnormalities. Ubial adds all patients contracted the Zika virus through mosquito bites. None of the patients had traveled to a country affected by the virus. 
More than 40 Chinese military planes fly near Japan between the Miyako and Okinawa Islands for training exercises in the West Pacific Monday. Japan says it was the first time Chinese fighters passed over the Miyako Strait but did not violate Japanese airspace. China says the drill aims to test long-range sea combat capabilities. Beijing is claiming almost all of the disputed South China Sea. Tokyo earlier announced it may patrol the disputed sea along with the United States. That's your day's top news. I'm Maria Ressa. Join us again tomorrow for the day's top news. Remember, tomorrow begins today.